If you want to enjoy the hummingbirds or butterflies, as we're starting to get these cooler temperatures, we're at the Independence Park Botanic Garden, and they just have a wonderful setup here of many different types of native plants that are actually put here for the butterflies and for the hummingbirds. And we have been just so blessed to see these hummingbirds flying in. I'm surrounded by plants that they just love. Now, first we've got this purple plant behind me. It's called giant ironweed, a native plant that produces quite a bit of nectar that the butterflies and hummingbirds like. And then we've got this porter weed, a very interesting plant that has those tubular shaped flowers and a wonderful source of nectar for those hummingbirds. And we can't forget about swamp mallow, which is actually a Louisiana super plant. It's in the hibiscus family and we also have salt marsh mallow that is located out here along with Turk's cap all in the hibiscus family and butterflies and hummingbirds just love them. Now these are all perennials. They are all native and they all have beautiful flowers. So you should think about incorporating some of these into your landscapes. Um, these are all perennials, so they'll come back year after year. And again, that swamp mallow is a hardy hibiscus. So one that we don't have to worry about being harmed by cold temperatures. These will come back year after year. They will feed the hummingbirds call in those butterflies, just wonderful native plants that produce lots of beautiful flowers and nectar. Forget it growing, I'm Heather Kirk Ballard with the LSU Ag Center.